I think art is almost like breathing. It's a part of you and you can't divorce yourself from it. I'm Jim Wagner and I'm an artist. I've been an artist all my life, so that's part of me. <laughs> My folks always encouraged me, and I think if you uh, have reasonable success in your schooling, that's encouragement. I grew up in Painesville. It's a small town, 30 miles west of St. Cloud, and our school program did really didn't have an art program, and it wasn't until I was a junior in high school that uh, the, one of the English teachers who had some art background formed an art club, so that was my first really experience with art as, as a environmental kind of experience. So I went to UMD, I did all my undergraduate work there. And then I did graduate work at uh, Boulder, Colorado. My wife couldn't get a teaching job to keep the wolves away from the door. So we called back to Duluth. She had taught there before. And she was offered a job right on the spot. And the superintendent said, does Jim want to teach too? And so I had a part-time teaching job while I was doing, finishing my graduate work at Duluth. I came to Austin, I, I was in a combination program of junior and senior high. When the college moved from the high school building out to where it is now, they needed more instructors and an opening came and I was able to, to walk into that. So I taught 28 years at the college and about 10 before that in the public school system. Austin always looked good to me after I've traveled. Coming, you know, whether I was on a European trip or a cruise or whatever, the lifestyle is workable here. We don't have intense traffic problems like you do in bigger communities. And I think the opportunities here, we have a really quite a cultural environment here. We have a good symphony orchestra, we have choruses. I've always been interested in music and singing. And uh, our art center has been in the business for over 50 years. It's a struggle, but we still hang in there, so that's good. This is a, a painting that I, I, I did some time ago. It's a, a beach figure, and I entered it at the Minnesota State Fair, and it was accepted. And uh, they just get thousands of work, so it was a real feather in my cap to be included in the show. There's still, I think, uh, passion for recognizable subject and I, that won't ever go away. But uh, expose them once in a while to a workshop for a class that makes them <laughs> get off the beaten path a little bit and uh, try something that maybe they haven't tried before. Some people work for things that they think everybody will like, and I think sometimes that can be a mistake to paint for other people. You have to paint for yourself, and if you please yourself, then hopefully somebody else will find pleasure too, especially if it's done well.
it was a nice little thank you note. And when I opened it up, it had just thank you printed across the bottom. And I thought, oh, I wonder what this is. And I opened it up and, and it was a note from one of the students and she was leaving the community college and she felt it would be unfair if she didn't say what I had done for her. And she said that my enthusiasm for art really affected her and she <laughs> hoped she'd never lose that enthusiasm. And it was an eye-opening, I think, for her, too, for appreciating art, and, and that was an enrichment that she didn't want to leave without saying a special thank you. What did that, what did that do for you? Oh, <laughs> raised me way up. <laughs> Keep working and perfecting your craft. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, that can't be anything better than that, yeah. I think that if I hadn't enjoyed teaching, I wouldn't have taught till the very last <laughs> year that I was able to teach. And uh, there's so much that's a reward to see somebody uh, struggle in the beginning and then all of a sudden blossom and produce work that you're proud of and they are just busting their jaws looking at it too, you know, it just, it's just such a treat. If a student comes back and says how much they enjoyed being a student and what they've accomplished and how it's enriched their life. You can't ask for more, you know, it's just, it's the best. I think you learn uh, along with your students sometimes and sometimes you're breaking new ground that is a little foreign to you, but it's a kind of joint journey then and sometimes you discover things or you see a student that's discovered something that you hadn't experienced too. And those are, are wonderful blocks to build on, you know, just, just great.